Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of arc. A for arc, B for basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're gonna be talking about the evil underlords of the winter biome of the frost biome. Yeah, those little guys. The um Kairuku. Yeah, the little tiny penguins that walk around all fluffy, all cute looking, yeah, and you know that they're just plotting something evil and just horrific in the background. You know that's what's gonna happen. And before you know it, they're gonna have like secret um underground or underwater lairs at the bottom of their little icebergs. Yeah. Those little guys. Yeah, we're going to be talking about those because there's quite a bunch of, there's quite a um, few different things that they are actually capable of doing. They're not just for gathering polymer. And granted, normally they are just for gathering polymer, but still they do have other uses, which is kind of cool. And today we're going to be discussing those. And it should be a quick video, should be a um, helpful video, and I hope this video helps. All right, so what you're going to need if you uh, have access to it um, in order to get up there, you're gonna need your handy dandy leather pants. Yes, you're gonna need those. If you need, if you're gonna go fight evil, and these guys are some of the evilest there are on Ark, you definitely need your pants in order to fight evil today. So we're gonna be bringing those. Um, I would recommend that you get some fur, stuff like that. Just regular fur um, will help. Or hide armor, primitive hide armor, and a torch usually helps. Uh, just going up into the frost biome, it's really not that cold up there on the island. On the other maps, yeah, there's some places that get pretty dang cold, but not on this one. All right, and also, a, another thing that you're going to need, you're going to need a handy-dandy Moshops in your pocket. Yeah, you're going to need one of those. I've got one right here. It's Burt. Now, there's a couple different things about this. Now, we're also going to be covering part of the Moshops in this video, plus we're also going to be talking about some of the Pelagornis because those creatures actually overlap pretty well when it comes around to the Kairuku and um, t on terms of who gathers more stuff from them and then all sorts of different things. Yes, I know. Yeah, we are going to be mashing poor little baby penguins into meat waffles today. And I apologize in that advance. Now I apologize for it. Later on, I'll be laughing and joking and having fun with it because I'm sorry. It's fun. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, meat waffles. Yeah, that's what's for dinner. All right, but also another thing you might need, if you don't have access to a Pelagornis or a Moshops, you're going to need a club. Now, I've got a couple clubs here that I've gotten out of loot drops, or you could just craft a regular club. I mean, it's really not a big deal. Um, but if you go up there with just one club, make sure you have plenty of stuff to repair it. Now, repairing it's actually really easy. Um, just carry some wooden fiber in your inventory, and then you can... Yeah, you can repair it on the fly, however you need. It's actually really effective. Um, so yeah, now that we've got this stuff, let's head up to the Winter Biome. Alright, now going up here in the Winter Biome, yeah, like I said, we're slowly losing some health. This with 46 Fortitude and stuff, just flip on your pants. And then it's already Snowflake, slip on something else, and then... No problem. Yeah, and we even look cool in our little leather pants. Now, another thing I forgot to mention back at base is if you're going to tame these guys, you want basic kibble. That's really all it takes. It's really easy to craft basic kibble. Super simple, and that's what these guys take. So, yeah, don't be too stressed out about, you know, oh, did I bring enough stuff? And then also, I know it sounds weird, but the... Matter of fact, let's get down here and let's discuss this a little bit because... Coming down here on the map, and this right here is where they're at on the map, way up here, they're up in the frozen biome, usually in the water areas, you'll find a bunch, some of them, sometimes you can find them up on the land a little bit, but they're far more common down here. Alright, so, let's get down here, and there, you're gonna see that they come in several different flavors. Yes, um, you're gonna find baby Kairuku which are these little guys right here, the juvenile um, Kairukus, and then the adult Kairukus. And the babies, they will just naturally kind of just level up and be themselves. They'll always remain the same le level, but um, you can find them at all sorts, of, um, all sorts of levels. Let's see, there's a little tiny baby right over here. Little tiny baby right there, level five. And then right here, there's an adult. 
Um, there's an adolescent, and there's another adolescent. Let's see, there's juveniles around here. Yeah, but if you're gonna tame them, you have to tame the, the fully grown ones. Those are the only ones that'll knock out and be able to tame the other ones. They'll just run from you and then die gloriously, skid across the ice. You know the deal. Yeah. And then they'll come to a complete stop, slow motion style, you know, and then the action movie. And then, you know, of course, you'll get the, you know, speedy hot rod the zooms past it, you know, making it look super epic. Yeah, that's what happens. All right. OK, so, um, yeah, now that we're we've discussed that now there's another thing. All right, let's see. Let's tame one first before we discuss meat waffles. Right, so, wrong button. So, in order to tame one, the best method to do it is to ensure that you not... The best way to do it is to not shoot it in the head right from the beginning. Alright, now I need to find another adult. Now, they don't have a whole bunch of hit points. But, there we go. Can you take a headshot? Alright, so, what I was talking about earlier, if you can't one-shot them... They're going to run from you. So if you're going to come up here and you're going to farm them, you want to one-shot them. That's one of the things that you want to do. You want to make sure that that's exactly what's going on. Because if you don't kill them in your first hit, they're going to run from you. Yeah, it's, it, it's a bad thing. And then they run down in the water. And while these guys are slow on land, they're really fast in the water. They're actually kind of impressive. Uh, matter of fact, if you, wanna, if you want just a little laugh and a giggle... Um, there's a certain way that you can get these guys. You can breed up about 10 of them, imprint them fully, and just have them follow you around on some sort of water mount. And they're pretty fast underwater, and they're a really good swarm pet um, for underwater. They can they can take on quite a bit. Now, I wouldn't go against a Tuso or a Mosa or anything like that, but everything else is pretty much fair game. They will waste them right quick. All right, so now that we've got one of these guys right here, we've got just a regular baby Kairuku. Are not a baby Kairuku. We've got a regular Kairuku. And now these guys right here, this is the one of the best ways that you can get, that you can harvest these guys, is with a club. All right, so now you see that this the regular club, it just gives two each per hit. Now let's see just how much the increased clubs will give us. Still two. And... Still two. All right, but... Yeah, if we have, um, oh, the older ones produce less organic polymer and less meat and then give you zero prime meat. Yeah. If you get the babies, though, the younger ones, every single one of them will give you loads of prime meat, loads of, uh, um, organic polymer, a lot more than the adults do. All right. But also, another method for harvesting these guys up. Oh, I, hey, look, we've got a Kairuku tamed. All right, another way of harvesting these guys up is on the back of a Mo Shops. Now, on this Mo Shops right here, I have this guy completely dedicated to just harvesting up Kairuku. That's that's his entire job. Now, all I've leveled him up 100% with just harvesting organic polymer. It's two, 245% on the weight and 262 for the quality. So this guy, he's going to get a lot now, the best way to do it is you go up to it and you right-click it. And you'll end up getting a whole bunch. I mean, he will. He'll, he'll get a whole bunch. But um, his, his, the amount he gets will generally pale in comparison to the Pelagornis. The Pelagornis will get so much more. All right, here, let's see. All right, now, like I was saying, what you want to do is you want to one-shot these guys. Because if you one-shot them, they're... They're really not going to send their ping out to everybody else. See that right there? One shot. Nobody nobody even knew that happened. Nobody heard the gunshot. Nobody went running for cover. It's all good. Right, guys? Yeah, stay in your place. Nobody go underwater. You're all good. Okay? So now let's harvest this guy up with the Mo Shops. See, he ended up getting a whole bunch. 41%. Now, if I would have harvested that up with the Pelagornis, I probably would have got about 65 so, yeah, if you're harvesting these guys and you have a, a, a Burt right here, you have a Mo Shops, these guys are really effective. Um, but if you have a Pelagornis, it's so much more effective. Here, let me show you. All right, so we're going to take... This right here is the same level. All right, and nobody's running, right? Nobody run. Okay. 
So, we're gonna get over here. 81 on that guy. So the Pelagornis is clearly the winner, but it's not completely, it doesn't completely outshine the, um, oh, the uh, Moshups. The Moshups is still really, really good. It really is. But the Pelagornis is just better. It's it, it's absolutely 100% better. Um, but there's also a couple cool little things that if you uh, do this and you don't have access to anything, you see, they're all just kind of just sitting right there. You don't really have access to anything. Um, you can just grab just regular club and then you go up here and then you start making meat waffles And then nobody's the wiser. I mean you're beating on the dead buddy and nobody even cares because we one shot this guy, right? And it's super fun. And it's super great and it's super creepy and annoying and really gross as the blood splatters and yeah, it's a thing but Another thing is see if we can find another and I'm sorry, mr. Baby. I'm sorry, dude I'm sorry, but you've got to I'm sorry, man. It's so horrible. It is gross. It is nasty. But we've got to check out the Mastercraft on a baby with this. See all the prime meat we're getting and all this organic polymer. And this is so nasty and gross. But we got 33 off that guy. We're off the uh, full grown ones. We only got like 12. So, yeah. Like I said, the babies and the younger they are. And I'm sorry when it comes to clubbing baby penguins. The younger they are, the better the meat waffles they make. It's just the way it is. And I'm sorry. I'm trying really hard to stop from laughing here. But I find this funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Penguin. You're so cute. You're so wonderful. But I ha I just feel the need to shoot you. And I feel the need to whack your body with a club. I'm sorry. All right, don't worry. I still think you're cute and I still think you're amazing and I still want to have a ton of you throughout my base, but Yeah, all right. So another thing I wanted to mention is right here Okay, so and I'm trying to do this all in one cut Okay, see this right here if we remove this all right, we have a uh, 273 hyperthermal oh, Hypothermal and a 129 hyperthermal now as we get closer to this tamed Kairuku, you will notice, all right, 273, 129, when we get within about a foundation range. He's not doing it. Come on. There we go. Now he's going to start slowly increasing this, and then as we get closer, he's going to increase it even more. Okay, see, it just went up to 290, and then when you're standing right on him, See, he just increased it by 30 or 20 points. So yeah, um, and this right here, if you're in a place or if you're in an area where it's too cold for hatching, uh, oh, eggs and stuff like that, you can actually pile on a bunch of these because if you have them set out in a, uh, oh, uh, like little uh, U shape, and then you toss an egg right in the middle of them where the egg was normally too cold in an area, and I see you over there, Mr. Shark. These are my Kairuku. Go get your own. All right, but if uh, you have an egg that is too... That if you're in an area where the egg is just too cold to hatch, and then you throw the egg right in the middle of them, they will actually bring it up because they're... Um, the effect from the individual Kairuku is cumulative all throughout all of them. Yeah, it's really, really cool. So, um, they can actually buy... If you have 10 of them, and you stand right in the middle of them, and you get super, super close, then they'll actually raise your um, hypothermal by 200 points. It's really cool. You can hatch eggs in the middle of them. It, it's wicked awesome. But they won't bring the temperature down. That is the problem. They won't raise your hyperthermal. They'll just raise your hypothermal. See? This right here stays the same. But this right here gets raised up quite a bit more. It's really cool. Yeah. So, hey, um, like I said, today's going to be a quick and easy video. Um, we were discussing the Pelagornis and their effects on the um, on the Kairuku population and the most shops on their um, Kairuku population. And then also a standard survivor with a club and their effects on the Kairuku population in ARC. So, hey, I hope this helped you out. I hope it um, helped you... Uh, Figure out how to get organic polymer, a bunch of prime meat. Also, it helped you out with their uh, hypothermal. And yeah, so hey, it's everything you need to know about the Kairuku. And also, like I said, if you want a quick and easy laugh and you want something that kind of amazes you, 
came up or uh, breed up about 10 of these guys at max level and then just have them follow you on say like a uh, a ray or a ichthyornis or ichthyosaurus and then just cruise around in the water they will be able to kill just about anything that follows you it, it's actually kind of comical. All right, so hey, I hope this uh, video helped you out. If it did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Flager Foo saying don't forget your pants because these guys are little balls of evil just waiting to uh, overthrow society. And take it easy, everybody. Yeah, you're not fooling me. I already know. I can tell by those little beady eyes that you're just evil incarnate. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, see? And then that look right there. Yeah, you're plotting. I already know, man. Yeah, it's okay. Yep, it's a thing. Here, let me pick you up so I can carry you over here. Then throw you around because I know you're going to need to be, uh, yeah. If I give you the chance, you're definitely going to overthrow me. You're going to take over my base. It's going to be horrible. Give me back my kibble. Thank you. Yep. All right, you ready to get us out of here? These guys give me the creeps. All right, little balls of cuteness and their evil plans. Ha <laughs> ha